Oh, yeah. So we've seen him play Pichu today. We've seen him play Zero Suit Samus. And we've seen him been in a little bit, but we're going to see a little bit more of it. But he plays those three characters pretty consistently, and he likes to transition from all three. But uh, he's very... Uh, he plays different play styles with all of them, so I'm trying to see uh, what he's trying to do here in this matchup against Yoshi, which he has a lot of matchup experience against Chumpkin, uh, but I think he's trying to do something different this time, so... Uh, yeah, Chumpkin is very good with uh, ladder. Just getting people like on his, like he's very good at just pressuring you on his on the shield and just yeah. See, look at that. Just like all right, I'm gonna just nair you here, fair you here. And you're just gonna drop shield and punish you for that. And then he's just gonna kill you off the top all the time. And if he doesn't kill you off the top, then he's gonna like push you all the way to the side and just like just be on you the whole time. Very good stuff. Oh my goodness. That fair was killed. Very surprising. 100%. Neon coming back with the up smash. Not gonna take that down. <laughs> Yoshi up air. Falling up air is very good. Uh, I did it before too, so. No shame, no shame, but. Uh, not necessarily gonna say this is even, but Neon still has a chance against this. Oh my goodness, Chump! Chump with the back airs! Oh my goodness! Looks like Steph is just getting really greedy with the kill right now. He's just swinging, just hoping to hit, but that's not really gonna work. Well, as you can see, uh, Chump tried to go for a uh, drag down back air to F smash. He's not gonna get that, unfortunately. That back air is not gonna kill. I don't think back air really kills off for Linden, but usually at an early percent, if she can get the laser off with their dragon head, then it will kill, for sure. Mm -hmm. That up smash is looking really good out of shield. I would say her up smash is pretty good for a shield option. Really good kill, kill combo as a close up, considering how. She can be pretty boxed uh, pretty easily, uh, unless she's at, uh, well, I say that, but I'll probably... Yeah, it, it can reflect, yeah. It's a good mix-up, uh, and it can be good against like some matchups, but that's pretty much about it. I'm going for the fair, just... Yeah, Chump is just on him. He's just trying not to let him breathe. Because that's that's how Neon has to get his damage. Just shooting out his arms and just getting that hit. We're gonna see uh, Chump. Oh, Chump will always press you on the shield. If he's not going for a grab and fully percent, he's going for a press at a later percent. Yeah, Yoshi is really good in today's meta. Not a lot of people know about <sighs> I think, yeah, I think he's probably A tier. Uh, I think he's just right below S, because there are some characters I believe are just a little bit better. And Neon making a huge comeback right now. He just killed uh, Chumkin off the side, and he's just still racking up damage. Chum really needs to get that kill confirmed right now before Neon cannot die. Because he can just space himself and just stay away from him and not get comboed. That's where Chumpkin is kind of weak. He just needs to get that kill and be counted. Yeah, I feel like Chumpkin may still get this because, I mean, no commentator curse, but he's very good at comboing. He's very good at just getting that clutch in. So, okay, he's got that back here. Up, up tilt, Nair. Oh, Chumpkin always goes in for that. Extra move like off stage, just like uh, just hoping he's gonna keep going, drifting away, and just go off stage. So like, just get that move. And unfortunately, he's not gonna get it there. But yeah, we're just seeing a lot of neutral interactions. So. Neon just really just trying to push him away right now. Just push him away. Goes that up smash. Oh my goodness! There goes Chunky's up smash.
Going with the egg throws. Trying to get that back here. <gasps> that up there. Oh my goodness. I forgot what it's called too. I'm to be completely honest. <laughs> I don't play arms. <laughs> yeah, and Neon is going to take that first game into a 1-0 right now. So I'm going to figure out how to fix this now. Oh, okay. Do not touch that. It is going to be right here. Do we record it? Yes, PS2. Wait, what stage is it going to be? I will see it. Okay, whoever arranged the roster like that is like the cringest person ever, I swear. Like, no one has their roster like that. It's always separate, dude. I don't understand. Small battle pool. No, probably to make it like a box, but yeah. I like to make it look big. Look at Chumkin already getting some good combos off, and Neon giving his combos of his own. Chunkin really just trying to find a way to get in. Just right now, that's that's all he's trying to get to do. Because right Neon is just doing a really good job of just pushing him away. Chunkin just having a hard time just trying to find a way in. Yoshi's a really good character. But the tricky part about him is just knowing how to like play against him. Trying to trying to learn your way around like his his little gimp that he has with his armor double jump. And Neon is gonna take that up smash, leading him down to a 3-2. So let's see how Chump uh, plays around this. And Neon's not quite like at a kill percent that Chump wants. Oh, I lied. He sent them all the way to the bottom of the blast zone. That's exactly what we like to see from Chum. Always getting that fair spike, uh, that fair meteor. So, uh, still looking kind of even, but Chum's at mid percent right now. And not looking really good because he could get pushed off stage. That's not what Chum wants. Just trying to find a way to get a combo so we can just get, some, just get a combo going, just get a groove going. A lot of great stuff coming from Chum. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's pretty much Neon's goal. His goal is to just keep him away from him because once he gets boxed, there's nothing he can do. And once he gets off stage, there's nothing he can do. So his main goal is to just keep shooting out his arms, just keep him off him, so that way he's able to take the Yeah, he just he just died. Yeah, with the up smash, Chumkin really like trying to, to having a hard time just getting on his shield and just trying to find a move so that way he can poke. But unfortunately, it's not going to work out. And Chump is having a hard time in this last stock right here. Let's just see how he takes it away. He took it away with the down smash last time. So, oh man, he's looking for that back air. That back air will really save him right now. I got stuck on the plat. Mimin's just pushing him, bullying him, dude. He's just bullying him. Yeah, and this is just not looking good for Chomp. He just really needs to find one interaction so he can take it out. Exactly what I mean. That's that's the exact interaction that he needed so that way he can get that star. And if we, if we see a Chomp get another hit, then he can take it back. And just as I was talking, he gets that interaction. Good 25%. It's a decent start indeed. Uh, but unfortunately, Chump is at one. He can die pretty right now if Zinman finds the right opening. He definitely needs to watch out for uh, pressing on the shield at such a bad time because if it ends up. Oh, he got the footstool right there, but unfortunately, that's not going to work out for uh, Chumpkin. Really smart, though. Really, really smart. I respect it. I highly respect it. 
I respect you, Jake. No, 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 don't speak too soon, baby. Oh my goodness. Anything can kill him right now. Except that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Chump at almost at 200 and Neon at 56. Oh, the grab to the up throw. Really smart coming out from Neon. It's going to lead him to a 2 0. So that means Chump's going to need. 3-0 comeback to really take close this out with Neon, but I'm cheering for Chumpkin uh, personally. He's uh, he's my team. Uh, he's my LCU boy, so I'm hoping for Chumpkin to, uh, to take this comeback. But it's gonna be really hard considering how uh, Min Min just really just walls out. Uh, so, yeah, do you have any thoughts about that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he plays. Yeah. He's, he's very consistent with all three characters. Um, which are all pretty annoying. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> nah, but he plays really good, so he knows what he's doing. He just knows how when to make a specific move at a specific time. Jump really needs to know how to just get in there and just. Just know when to find that opening, because if he can find that opening, he needs to keep him in disadvantage at all times. So let's see how Chump approaches this game three. It's going to be small battle. Let's knock that down. So, pretty neutral interactions. Uh, both players making some good hits. Uh, Chump getting the upper hand on this, but... Oh, as I speak, Neon just gets another hit with another hand. Bro, if you're gonna play with the arms like that, I'm stupid. Go play arms, bro. <laughs> now, I played that game, it's... I mean, okay, like, it was fun for, like, the first you know, five hours. Yeah. It was one of those games I was like, it's all I can play right now. I mean... There's also Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. I would say 2017 was a, a year of games, for sure. Oh yeah. Well, still, again, it was still a, like an amazing game. I'm pretty sure it got a game of the year at some point, so. Like, I mean, yeah, it came out on the Wii U in 2016. I do remember that now, but uh, it made its debut in the Switch. Because, I mean, it's it got way more popular than Switch. Um, and, uh, sorry for not keeping up with the game, but uh looks like Chunk is taking this one this time. I'm getting some good percent. I'm gonna get that get-up attack, and looks like we're seeing another Game 2 moment, so Neon's having a hard time just closing it out. F, 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 uh, forward air. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take that one, but looks like Jump is still collecting damage and as I speak. He's got an easy 28% off of him. Not really looking good. Another back there right there. It's like those eggs are just really hard to get out because he throws out the eggs and they're usually always just hit or miss, but if they're hit, Jump is looking really good. But when they when they miss, they're it's gonna it's gonna take huge damage from him. So let's just see how he like plays around. Oh my goodness, the forward air coming out from Chumpkin. It's a huge lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, into egg, into forward air, into nair. Just like, wow, I can't believe these combos are hitting right now. I mean, obviously, it depends on the character. So I play Rob, so I'm a pretty big boy, so I can get hit by that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Hunt? Duck Hunt's awesome. Duck Hunt is... This can is so good. Chump is still looking really good. Uh, Chump is still living. Neon's just having a hard time just closing out a single game, like, or a single stock attack. 
because he's making Chump live to like 200, almost 200 every single stock, and that's not looking good for you. The Forder coming out from Chump with a two stock lead. Very good stuff coming from Chump. Uh, clutch, clutch. <laughs> That was small battlefield, Chumpkin's favorite. <laughs> Spear pillar. I would go spear. Just uh his two. It should be I think every stage should be legal. That's my hottest take. If I wanna go uh northern Great Northern Cape, no, I want to go to Great Northern Cape. And we're seeing Neon coming up with the switch up. He's not going mid anymore, he's going 0 0 Stamus. This is going to be interesting. We might see, well, see, here's the thing with Neon. He likes to go to different Cape than anything. Purely because he knows that if you have adapted to him, then you have to adapt to a new character. It is very smart, and I mean, I really like that idea. And the fact that he's consistent with all three is very hard. So, all three have a completely different play style. Um, and Chump just does not care. Oh! Talk about the switch up. Looks like Chump really wanted to get that forward air. And, uh, Zero Shoot Champs just said, Eat my boo, brother. And, uh, Chump, unfortunately, has it. Looks like we're gonna have to see, uh, Chump have to. Yeah, eat his boot. <laughs> I was I was waiting for that. I was just like, eat his. Kind of even still. Uh, obviously, he has the advantage. It's two stock, two stocks. Chump really had a hard time just getting in again. Uh, you know, just unlike the zero, the min min was just pushing the legs. He's just really getting off. Just combo. Oh my goodness. The up B, the up B, that up B is very strong. I, I think I'm pretty sure like confirmed kills like at 100 kills every single character. At every single stage. Maybe not every single stage. Maybe like not town, but still. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't really have rage, but still. It would have killed. He was one time. That was confirmed. Um, it's gonna be really hard for Trump to get it back. Unless he gets a really, really good conversion right now, and just really just knows how to close out the second stock. Unless Neon has a hard time just closing out the second stock, which what if he was having trouble doing with Min Min? He can just understand the pattern, but close it out. And this would be looking good for Neon, but let's see how Trumpkin approaches it. Still with one stock and just a true. Oh, Oh! <laughs> Man, we're really bad with competitions. Yeah, and unfortunately, that is going to take it for Neon 3 1. Really looking good for Chumpkin on that last game. Uh, however, uh, Neon's going to come up with the switch up, and he's going to make sure he doesn't get that adaptation to his Min Min. Switch it up and kill him earlier than with the Min Min, you know, killing him later.